And welcome back to my channel if you are new here hello my name is Katie I live in Orlando I do all like shopping me videos home decor pretty much anything to do with Target and home goods if you love those stores you're probably gonna love it here so you're gonna want to go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up make sure you hit the subscribe button down below you can also hit the notification bell if you want to know exactly when my new videos come out I do have an upload schedule if you guys didn't know or if you haven't realized maybe I do post Tuesday, Thursdays, and Sunday at 10 a.m. I try to stick to that as much as possible, but sometimes life gets in the way, but I feel like, I feel like I've been pretty good at it. I'm gonna go ahead and pat myself on the back for that one. But if you're new here, definitely make sure you hit the subscribe button. I'm gonna have an awesome 10,000 subscriber giveaway coming up really, really, really soon. It's gonna have some awesome prizes, some hard to find Target dollar spot items, a big Target gift card, awesome stuff like that. So if you're excited about it and you haven't yet, you're definitely gonna wanna make sure you hit the subscribe button so you don't miss out. Today we are going shopping at Home Goods. Who's surprised? Who's surprised? Still looking for some stuff for our apartment, nightstands, um, like soap dispensers, a lot of little stuff, but I, you know, I'm just gonna like go ahead and let Home Goods tell me what I need. I'm really excited. We're gonna be moving so soon and I'm really 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 excited about it I also have a couple pickup orders I have an order I need to pick up from Target I also have an order I need to pick up from Ulta so I'm gonna go ahead and show you what I got from those stores too really quickly but first of all let's go ahead and get some Starbucks and then let's go pick up those orders and let's get shopping at home goods okay got my Starbucks and my usual has been a venti vanilla sweet cream cold brew with no vanilla syrup and three pumps of pistachio it's definitely the cheapest way to do it because if you build your own drink like if you say can I get a venti cold brew with three pumps of pistachio and sweet cream they like charge you for each pump of syrup and the sweet cream and like it ends up being like a seven dollar drink so this is definitely the cheapest way to do it like I said venti vanilla sweet cream cold brew no vanilla syrup, three pumps of pistachio. That's definitely the best way to do it. I've been obsessed with the pistachio sauce like since it came out. I've been getting it every single time. So that's definitely been my go-to and I totally recommend it. So now we are at Target. I actually have a drive up order that I need to get. Um, I have to pick up like masks that I bought. I actually showed them on Instagram. I will definitely link them down below. Um, but drive up's really easy if you've never done it. You just place your order and then you say like I'm on my way and then I'm here and you tell them what kind of car you park in the spot and then they bring it to you. So it's super easy i will show it to you guys on my phone okay so target app open and then tell us you're coming and then i'm on my way but honestly i'm actually like here so you just tell them like the make or like the type of style of your car and the color and then it just says park by the drive up sign and honestly i'm like pretty much already here so i'm just gonna drive over to the spot and then click i'm here and they'll bring my order right out okay so here's like what the whole drive up section looks like at my store so I'm basically just going to pick a spot. I'm just gonna pick this one because it's right in front of me and tell them that I'm here. So it already knew I was here just by like GPS and then they just verified the code and gave me my order. Okay, so she just came to my window and gave me my order. I just got two boxes of face masks. These are my favorite, favorite, favorite ones. I have one right here somewhere. In my opinion, these ones are the best. They're really different than other ones. So if you notice, this is like the ear strap. It's honestly just so stretchy. It's so wide and soft. You really can't even feel them. These are the only masks I will wear now because they don't pull up my ears. I just honestly couldn't care less about the cute ones anymore. These are the best ones and I will definitely link them for you down below. I don't know anywhere else where you can buy them like except for Target, but I love them so I wanted to go ahead and stock up. I got a box for my car and a box for Brian's car. Okay, next, literally like 100 yards away, I have a pickup order from Ulta. A lot of you guys like always ask me about my skincare and honestly I keep it really 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 simple that's just what works for me a couple years ago I tried to build this like insane skincare regimen that had like serums and like oils and toners and like all this crazy stuff and my skin was literally the worst it had ever been so I decided to just go back to the basics I just use Cetaphil daily like cleanser and then I use CeraVe PM moisturizer but i use it all the time like am and pm and honestly that's it but i will show you these two skincare items that i got because one of them i use them both like every day but for like two totally different things so let me tell ulta that i'm here and then i'll show you what i got okay that took like 15 minutes which is like honestly totally fine he came out and he's like i'm so sorry like i guess my order was like in the like wrong 
letter thing like it would be under v for vining and it was like in the wrong letter but anyways it's totally fine i'm just sitting here drinking my coffee all that good stuff so this is what i ordered both products are by mario badescu Bodescu or whatever anyways i got this facial spray with aloe herbs and rose water um so this i actually spray directly onto my beauty blender and i like dab it onto my face when my makeup is totally done so this is what i actually use as my setting spray so i feel like a lot of you guys who are always like your makeup looks so good your makeup looks so good like what foundation what this what that honestly i feel like it's this like i said i spray it directly onto my beauty blender and then i just like dab it onto my face i guess but i will like really saturate that beauty blender and just make like everything kind of like melt into the skin and then another product i love by them which is actually like my first love by them is the drying lotion so this stuff is actually pretty interesting normally it like settles and it's all pink here and then like clear here so i think it's like alcohol and then calamine lotion you're not supposed to shake it you like take a q-tip and you go through the clear part to the pink part so like this i'll have to like let it settle because it's like pretty mixed up right now which is fine i just put it on like if i feel like i'm getting a pimple or if i have a pimple I just put it on right over the pimple and I go to sleep and it just works really really well at like drying it up and making it go away faster I love it it does have like I guess a smell because when Brian and I first started dating like he hated the smell and now he's used to it because sometimes I will literally have like I'll look like I have the chicken pox like on my face like if I have even like a hint of it I just put it on so that's the drying lotion and the spray that's what I got at Ulta but now we're gonna head over to home goods so let's go shop at home goods okay and then home goods now it seems like they have a lot of new stuff but the store is really packed i forgot that it was like a holiday weekend and like everyone would be off normally i try to like do my sh like video shooting during the weekdays when the stores are like a little bit not as crazy but they have so much new stuff let me show you i feel like they've had this coffee table for like a really long time but they it was on clearance but they like marked it back up to full price of 200 i really like the textured coffee tables but it honestly just won't go with like our other stuff but they have that and I really like it. They have this outdoor set. Oh my God, it's so nice. It's like two couches, but it's like a round with the table and then like a in the middle table. It's really, 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 really nice. It is very expensive. It is two grand, but oh my gosh, it's super nice. This rattan chair is so pretty. It's so detailed. Definitely needs a cushion but it's really, really nice, and they have it for 200 bucks, which is a little bit pricey, but honestly, it looks like it would hold up well for like a really long time. It's really, really pretty. The store is actually like jam-packed with like a lot of new furniture, which is really nice. It's like all in like the middle aisle, as well as like tucked onto the sides. They have so much stuff. The color of this is so pretty, and it's like textured on top. I definitely would not have anywhere to put it, but the color of it is really pretty, so I just wanted to show you guys it. Guys, they have like a hundred rugs at least. Like it's crazy. And they're like all like all the way back there too. They're all so pretty. I love they're like so hard to move because obviously they're like really heavy. But I love this white one. It's huge. It is three hundred dollars and it's really, really soft. It's nice and thick. It's really nice. They have so many new rugs like over there. So many tucked right here. Even all more here and over there. And even like hidden behind here. They're bursting with rugs. They have so many. I don't like this one, but it's Magnolia by Chip and Joanna Gaines. So that's cool. But there is one that I wanted to show you guys that I think is in this next one. Oh my gosh, like a full body workout. Nope, it's not. <laughs> is it in this one? Hang on, wait, where is it? Oh, crap. I don't, oh, okay. I know it's in this round one. Hang on, I have to move all these. Okay, I just moved them all <laughs> so I could show you guys these round ones. Look at this big jute one. It's $129. It is five by eight, I think it says. I wish it wasn't blue, but that's really, really pretty. The whole store is honestly just like bursting with new stuff. I just threw this like on the side of my cart. Be really cute with like a doormat over it. Looks like they have a lot of new doormats. I'm gonna check out what they have, but I really wanna do like the rug with the doormat on top for our new place. So gonna look through all the rugs. Like guys, look how much stuff they have. It's insane, like even more rugs. What the heck? They have so many Ray Dunn doormats. That's like what all of these are. 
which is crazy. This one says like, love, it's for Valentine's Day. And then this one says like, welcome. They're just heavy, it's hard to lift up when you're just one person. They used to have one on the TJ Maxx website, they might still, that says like probably at TJ Maxx. And I really wanted to find one here that said probably at Home Goods, but I haven't had any luck. And if you try to like Google them, they're way more expensive than like if you just find them on the website or here. But I'm gonna keep looking, or like probably at Target. I need that. A bunch of Magnolia Home like runners and rugs here. It's really crazy, such a good price. Like this one is only $30. These are really good prices. It's kind of hard to see like what they are because obviously like I don't want to open them. They do have the names on them so I'm able to like Google it. But yeah, they have so many here. This actually matches that rug I showed you guys earlier. But yeah, they have a bunch of Magnolia Homes rugs. Here's another one. This one looks cute. Looks like too colorful for me, but this one is really cute and it has like tassels at the end. Oh, I love that. Okay, I found this like rug that could go perfect for a placemat. It's really pretty. It's like jute and then like white. I'm not gonna get like this placemat, but I think it would look really, really cute with like another one. So I might get that. I really, really like that. I really like this one too though. I like how it's like more plain with like the stripes. That looks cute too. No, I don't know. <laughs> this lamp is really, really pretty. It's like galvanized almost or like hammered gold with like a white lampshade. Good price too, it's 80 bucks. Really, really nice floor lamp. I like that a lot. Didn't find anything there. Over in the bedding now. Trying to find a quilt that we can like lay over our bed like just decoratively. We have one on the bed we sleep on now, so I want to get one for our new king bed. So I'm gonna take a look, see what they have here. Just like by peeking really quick, I don't really see anything. Um, but I'm gonna look at throw blankets too because it's not for us to use, it's really just for decoration. I'm thinking that I'll do like really, really light gray. So something like that, but this is like a very like seashelly texture. So just maybe something like that color. I like this one too, um, but this is like, it's a quilt set, so I think it comes with like shams. I just need like the blanket portion. This could actually be good. What is this? I like the color, I like the beige with the gray, made in Portugal. This is actually really nice. How much is this? $30, it's huge. Oh, I wish it had the label. But that's really nice. This blanket's literally gonna break my camera. It's so neon for like a construction themed little kids room maybe. I see like a neon pink Kate Spade one too. The colors on that are crazy. Came over to the throw blanket section and I really like this like fabric and I like this color. So I think I'm gonna get this one for our bed for like a little quilt. It's like a it's like gray, but also kind of beige. Super neutral, and it is $24.99. Forever on the hunt for like soap dispensers and stuff too. Luckily, this store has like a huge selection. I found these, which I kind of like. They kind of look like woven-y. I do wish it had a gold top, and they are $10, but I like the look of those. They actually have like a whole line for stuff like that. I really like these. They don't have the conditioner one that matches, but like for a guest shower, I think that's really cool. Like shampoo, conditioner, just like there in case someone would need it. And it's just like really big and you could refill it. I really, really like these. I wish they had the conditioner one that matched. JK, I found it. Oh my gosh, yay, these are so cool. I'm definitely gonna get these for the guest shower. Just think that those are really cool. Okay, so that's this set, which is really cool, but it looks like it could potentially come in white which would be even better. But I don't see them here, so the question is, do I keep looking or do I get the gray ones? They're wheeling out like even more furniture. It's unbelievable. How much furniture do they have back there? I've also been on the hunt for like one of these big mirrors, hello. And they have a lot here, but these ones don't light up. They have like a smaller one that lights up, but like look at the difference. <laughs> I wish they had a big one that lit up. They seriously have so many like all over this bath section, but none of the ones I like light up. So I might just get one that doesn't light up. That's just like nice and big, just to replace the two I have that are broken. Also found this soap dispenser that I really like. It's very fancy, but they only have one with the gold. 
They have a bunch with like the silver, like a bunch of different ones, but this is the only one they have with gold. They have so much stuff like around the whole store today. So I don't feel like I'm like striking out. They just have so much stuff. Like it's honestly, it's like overwhelming. I feel like I haven't seen a store this packed since like pre-COVID because after COVID the stores were like really weird for a while. Yeah, I haven't seen a store this packed since before COVID and it's like, it's overwhelming. And I mean packed with merchandise, not even people. Like they have so much merchandise. These are so cute. They have a bunch of these like little mini like cane bookshelves kind of. They're really cute. These ones could actually work as like nightstands. They're just like skinny, but they do have the two bookshelves and they have the really pretty cane detail on the side. These bigger ones are 130 and the shorter ones are 80, but they're really, really pretty. I like these a lot and they have so many of them, like two there, one here, short one here, short one here, short one there. A bunch popped over here to see what Ray Dunn they had. To my surprise, they had this little bunny love mug. It is $5.99. It's really cute. It's like the matte pink, if that makes sense. Like the letters and stuff are matte compared to like something like that. But that's really cute. I already have a lot of Easter mugs, so I'm gonna leave this for someone else to find. But it's really, really cute. I'm obsessed with the Easter Ray Dunn, like all of it. They have a lot of really, really cute St. Patrick's Day stuff, like even more. I've already showed some in a couple other videos. They have some cute like mugs with like four the clover stripes. And these are $3.99 each. They have this really, really cute teapot. That is $10, so that's really cute. I think it's, if I didn't break it, I think that this is more like decorative, not functional, but that's really cute. They have this little like pitcher. It's green on the inside. That's really, really cute. And then they have this cake stand that my nails like perfectly match, so it made me laugh, but just very like springy vibes over here. St. Patrick's Day spoon rest as well. Tons of little St. Patrick's Day stuff. Peeking at like wine glasses, and I really, really like these ones. They're like obnoxiously large red wine glasses. They're really nice, four of them for $12.99. But I really, really like those ones. They are made in Italy. I don't know, I kinda like them. I do have these like small ones that are actually like the same shape. They kind of like bow right here. I really, really, really like these, but I might wait and come back with Brian and pick some out because or maybe not even get them here, but he's like pretty particular about stuff like this. So I think he'd want to be involved, but I really, really like these ones. I sent him a picture and he likes them too. So I don't know. I absolutely must get a teapot today that is on my list um, because we have just been using like a pot and we've been boiling water in it and it's just not working for us anymore. This one is really cool. It's super intense. I think it like literally holds a gallon of water. So that one's kind of cool and different, and it is $24. Brian kind of likes that one. I'm just like, sending him pics. This cocktail shaker is cool. It has like all the different cocktails, and when you like spin the middle part, it like tells you what you need to make it. I don't know if you guys will be able to see that, but it's really, really cool. I'm not gonna get this one because something like that just makes me feel like it would break really easy, but I am gonna, oh, yeah, it's over here. I am gonna get this one, the little lid fell off, just cause it's just something that's good to have. We like to make a lot of like little shaking cocktails and stuff and we just stir stuff. So it'd be nice to have a little cocktail shaker. Okay, so we have it narrowed down to these two. I'm waiting for Brian to message me back. He likes this one. I think it's honestly just too big. Then there's this one, it's really simple. Honestly, it doesn't really matter because we're not gonna be like keeping it out. But I think that this one would be better and this one is also $25, so same price. Honestly, it's up to him, I don't really care. The like Valentine's baking stuff. They have a lot of like Ray Dunn little like cupcake sheets. A lot of really, really cute like cupcake stuff if you wanna like bake for your family. Just a lot of cute little stuff. This one has like little like cupcake picks. These are so cute and they're only $4.99. Really like this spoon rest, that's pretty cool. I do need to go ahead and get a new spoon rest, but I don't want one that's like striped like this. I think I just want like a solid wood one or a solid marble one. Okay, I don't know how I missed all of this until right now, but I just ended up in like Valentine's Day City. 
Oh my gosh, cute, cute garlands. $12 for six feet, same thing. Really, really cute ones. They have like pink with pink with cream, pink with white with gray, pink with sparkles, red with sparkles, red, white, and pink. More neutrals with red hearts. And then down here, this is so cute. Matches perfectly with the garland that I got actually. $14.99 for like a mini pom-pom wreath. That is so cute. I just found a little Easter display. I'm obsessed with Easter. They have a couple like signs, say like Happy Easter, a couple different like variations, but those are really cute. A lot of cute stuff for like little decorative areas, so, like these tiny little like bunnies. Why do I break everything? Just a lot of like super cute like bunny themed stuff, little like chick things, some Ray Dunn. Just like little bunny shaped things. These are absolutely freaking adorable. Then these little wooden bunnies. I am in love with this little bunny guy and this little bunny girl. These are really cute too. Perfect for like a bridge between Valentine's Day and Easter. They're just like little Easter eggs that have hearts on them. So if you wanted to do like a combined display, you could do something like that. These are $4.99. They just have like tons of little like Easter signs, like all different prices, different like Easter themed things, little bunnies, that sort of thing. I think I need these. Like, I, I just think I need them. Like, I don't know why, but like, I just think I do. Really pretty, like, spring wreaths behind me as well. They have a pretty, like, yellow one. This really pretty purple one. Really, really good prices, too. These are only $20. That's crazy. Those are great, great prices. They're actually super nice looking. Honestly, such a great price. More spring wreaths. They have these ones that look like little baskets those are really cute and those are only ten dollars so they have a couple different like variations of that they have these really pretty like garlands so much pretty stuff for spring pink wreaths all really 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 good prices too more little basket like hanging wreaths cute little like purple one just so many at such good prices if you're looking for a spring wreath Home Goods is definitely the place to come. So they have a bunch of mirrors over here. And originally I was thinking I would get this one because the mirror is really big and it lights up, but it doesn't magnify at all. And these ones are five times magnification. If I go any closer, my camera like will not focus. So then I'm like, well, what if I get this one and then I just buy a really small one for magnification because I need the magnification to pluck my eyebrows. And then I'm like, okay, but I'm still getting two mirrors like when I just want one that does everything. So I've resorted to Amazon. These are so fun. These little like cosmetic fridges. So you like keep them in your bathroom and then you can keep your skincare in there because some skincare actually is like meant to stay cold. This is so cute. It's like meant for your bathroom sink and it is $40. Those are really, really cute. I know they're like a very popular like Christmas gift, but if you're looking for a Valentine's Day gift, that could be a good idea as well. They have a bunch of high-end makeup. Just found this little Becca set. So it's here, it's $11.99. You get like a mini champagne pop, a little primer, that kind of stuff. But this is what I'm saying. So I found two. This one has a whole product missing that someone took. So you just have to make sure that stuff is unopened here. But they do have a lot of like Becca foundation that's super nice. A ton of milk makeup. Something by Marc Jacobs. Some more stuff by Marc Jacobs. So it's really crazy the stuff you can find here. It's just in my opinion, you're taking a little bit of a risk. The store is like literally bursting with new stuff so much that there's like all this furniture over on the Marshall side. It's crazy. I have this outdoor set. It's actually by Tommy Hilfiger, but it's really cute. I like it. It's like a little outdoor bistro set, like white and gray. I like that a lot. Some more cute Easter stuff, really, really cute Easter pillows. This one's really neutral, just like little like pom-poms on the butt. They have this more like colorful one that says Happy Easter with the little like checks. More neutral, kind of in the middle. Definitely like glam Easter. So a lot of really, really cute Easter pillows. All the ones that I see are $19.99. Oh, this one's $16.99. Somewhere between like $16 to 
20-ish dollars each. They have so many absolutely massive Euro shams. These are something I still need to get. They have so many here. I definitely need to get some of these. Not seeing anything that's like jumping out at me. I'm not really sure like what I want to get yet. It's like one of those things I really have to wait till we like put everything together and then I can see exactly what I want. If I want like more texture, more pattern, or just something like totally plain. Alrighty, gonna head to the checkout aisle. I'm sure there's a lot of really cute stuff there. And then I will show you everything that I picked up today when I get back to my car. Look at these tiny little magnify mirrors they have here in the checkout aisle. I'm probably gonna get one that is like a big one and then has one of these that like suctions to it. These candles are really pretty. They're only $7.99 and they have a bunch of different colors and they look like something from anthropology. Okay, just got back in my car. I just wanna show you quickly what I got from like Home Goods Marshalls. I didn't end up getting a few of the things I thought I was going to. I didn't end up getting the little bunny figurines because the girl bunny's arm was broken and I like didn't even notice until I was like paying for them. So I'm really sad I did not get those because I loved those, they were so cute. But I did end up getting the shampoo and conditioner, the gray bottles. Brian really liked them too. They're so perfect for like a guest bathroom. Um, we will have a guest room. So wanted to go ahead and get these. Kind of looks like I scuffed this one. So hopefully that will come off. Also, someone just blinded me with their mirror. Um, but yeah, so just these little shampoo and conditioner bottles. But yeah, these are really cute. They were $12.99 each and I love them. This couple next to me is like literally making out a pre home goods makeout sesh. Oh my God, they're still kissing. I'm uncomfortable. They just finally finished kissing. Okay, the next thing I decided to get was this shaker bottle because we didn't have one. And like I said, we like to shake up cocktails, probably put this bad boy to use today. It was only $7.99 and it's really nice. They did have a matching ice bucket. Hindsight, I probably should have got the matching ice bucket, but like, when do you ever actually use an ice bucket? Like, unless you're like, in a hotel so got the shaker $7.99 and I really like it then I decided to get that quilt that I showed you guys it's really nice I like it I like the way it feels the color is interesting so we'll see how that goes but just wanted something like decorative for on the bed because we have it on our bed now and I really like the way it looks so I wanted to get another one alrighty you guys that is gonna be it from me today I really hope you love shopping with me today at home goods I cannot believe like how much merchandise they had like I said in the store just reminded me of like pre-covid days like the stores were totally packed not necessarily with like people like there were a lot of people there but honestly that store is just a little bit claustrophobic because of like all the merchandise and all the people and like the skinny aisles if you shopped at home goods you definitely know what i'm talking about but it was just so packed with merchandise it honestly just like gave me a lot of hope that there's like a light at the end of this tunnel but that is going to be it for me today if you love today's video definitely make sure you give this video a big thumbs up make sure you hit the subscribe button down below so we can get to doing that 10,000 subscriber giveaway sooner rather than later so excited about it thank you all so much for subscribing to my channel you're making my dreams come true and i love you so much but i am blabbing that is going to be it for me see you guys next time bye